All right, guys, what is up? And this is my weekly stats so far for this week. Uh, my win-loss is sitting at a 14-win loss with a 115 win streak as of right now. My kill death is a 9.09 so far this week. I thought I'd put my stats for the Ghost Town series at the start of this video rather than the end just because um, I'm not sure if everyone watches my videos to the end, but uh, I would like to ask you guys please to watch this video um, to its full entirety. Um, just because it's only six minutes long, and I really wouldn't, or I really hope that you guys uh, would just stick around for the full six minutes and, you know, enjoy the full length of this video. So let's get into this video. What is this gameplay that you're watching right now? This gameplay is in the 1v1 playlist. Uh, this is a kill confirmed on a ground. Um, you guys know for my Ghost Town series this week that I am playing, um, you know, to see how high I can get my KD for this week and how high I can get my weekly win loss. So I'm going to be playing game modes that you know are pretty much I'm guaranteed to win and I'm going to be in a full party most of the time but um, during this game I had like no one on my Xbox and um, or no friends really online to get a party going so I was like you know what I'll play solo in 1v1 that way um, the outcome of the game is fully dependent on me. And I just managed to drop a mo out of this game on this kid, and he was AFK for about three, about no, I think it was only two kills. I'm pretty, sh I'm pretty sure it was only two, um, no more than three for sure. But uh, I will skip parts of this game just because um, this guy didn't really like to run around like me. He kind of likes sitting in like weird spots, like right there at the end of the tunnel. So if you guys see me skip out a part, it's just me. All it is that I'm taking out of the game is. Just uh, me running around the map trying to find this guy, just like this. This is all I did right here was just run around the map to find him. And this was the AFK kills I was talking about. I think I get one more and then he comes back. So, what is going on with me today? Um, not a whole lot. Actually, before I get into my topic, I want to talk about. Um, someone said to me in my last video, they're like, "Well, you know, it's really easy to get a high KD for your weekly if you know you only play a couple games per day." Which is true, and I only have like 14 games played so far this week, and that is true, so it's not going to be that hard to have such a high KD considering I have such little kills and such little deaths. But you guys have to realize that I play on two different systems. I play on Xbox and PlayStation, so so far I think on Xbox this week I have like a 300 kills, and then I think I have like 300 kills on PlayStation as well, if not 400 now, so... In total, I have around a 700 kills this week, and um, I only have like an hour played on Xbox, but in total, I have close to three hours between both consoles. So you have to keep in mind that just because I'm doing the Ghost Town series on Xbox is because it is my primary console, but um, I do play on PlayStation. I just have frequently started playing on PlayStation a bit more than usual, so uh, yeah. Just thought I'd cover that real quick, just in case you guys don't think that uh, I'm only playing a couple games a day. I do play on two consoles, so um, my, my stats on the Xbox are, you know, just a portion of what my uh, overall um, stats and playing time is because of two consoles. So, let's get into what I want to talk about considering this video isn't uh, much longer. We're already halfway through and it feels like I haven't covered that much, so let's go, 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 go. Alright. What happened today, uh, Tabes actually revealed four different videos of multiplayer, actual multiplayer gameplay from Black Ops 2. If you guys haven't seen the videos or you guys don't know who Tabes is, search them and watch the four gameplays that he put up of pretty much, I think three of the four were sniping and the other one was just a rag gun. Uh, but he's just running around playing Team Deathmatch and Headquarters on um, Black Ops 2 and that's actual Black Ops 2 game footage which is crazy. Um, yeah, I was pretty excited about that, and Tabes always puts up um, the upcoming Call of Duty title. He always gets gameplay for it uh, before it comes out, which is really cool. That's why I really like him uh, around this time of the year, because around this time last year, he was putting up Modern Warfare 3 gameplay before it was even out, so uh, yeah. But what is really cool, tomorrow at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time is the Black Ops 2 multiplayer live stream. Uh, I'm not gonna. I'm not sure how long they're going to be live streaming the game for, but um, they will be live streaming Black Ops 2 multiplayer tomorrow at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. I am pumped. I actually have my alarm set for it. Um, I probably would have woken up before the fact, anyways. So the alarm's just to, you know, just in case, because I don't want to miss this. 
Uh, I'm really excited for the Black Ops 2 multiplayer. I remember around this time last year, I was not excited at all for Modern Warfare 3. And I wasn't sure if, you know, if I thought Modern Warfare 3 was going to be a bad game or what it was really. You guys can see I get my Moab right here. Um, I, I think Modern Warfare 3 is a good game. And, you know, I was, you know, looking forward to Modern Warfare 3, kind of. But, you know, I wasn't, like, like excited for it. Right now, I'm excited for Black Ops 2. I'm legitimately looking forward to the release date of Black Ops 2 because I have really high expectations for this game, and I do think it's going to be a really good game. Um, I'm not sure why it was that I didn't think that Modern Warfare 3, or I wasn't ex as excited for Modern Warfare 3 at this time last year, but um, I don't know. I, I just really think Black Ops 2 is going to be a good game, and I really am looking forward to it. Um, I haven't been excited for a video game in a long time, so uh, hopefully Black Ops 2 is going to be the, the game I'm expecting. So yeah, this pretty much is the end of the gameplay. I will have some more videos up tomorrow, um, probably Black Ops 2 based. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that, and hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh, 1v1 Moab. Some crazy stuff going on in this gameplay, and I won with only 11 tags. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Have a nice day, guys. Peace.